Tangelo here from the Bradenton Herald. Just got done enjoying a hot one hour set at a lively crowded Aces in Bradenton. Uh, All right. Tell us yeah. about Is this your first time playing here? No, no. I've been here several times before. Um, oh, and real quick, in case yeah. people didn't catch the beginning of the, the uh, broadcast, yeah. this is Terry Hank. All right. From West Palm Beach, singer, songwriter, Saxon. superb saxophonist. Thank you, Wade. Sorry. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, we really had a ball. Uh, I, I came over with and with uh, Doug Deming and his great band, the Jewel Tones. So it's we always. We were here last weekend. Yeah, it's great yeah. seeing you with them. Yeah. It's it's a it's a ball. You know. Now, have you ever played with Damon? Just out of curiosity. Uh, you know, I have. I met him. You know, he came up and introduced himself to me two years ago at the uh, BMA Awards show. You know. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And uh, tell uh, real quick, tell people the BMAs are. Ah, uh, that's the Blues Music Awards in Memphis. It used to be called the ban- uh, the uh, uh, I mean uh, Handies. It used to be called the Handy the, the, the Awards. The WC Handy, yeah. right? And now they're called the uh, BMA Blue Music Blues Music Awards. And didn't you and, just win one? Uh, no, I was up for an oh, award uh, two years ago for the best horn. Now I'm up for it again this year. Oh, you're up for it again yeah, this year? Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. So I, I so I met Damon there at the uh, and then uh, he played over at uh, in Delray Beach over by on my right. side of the and uh, I went down and sat in with him and we had a ball. Oh, great! Really nice guy. Great. Because that's the whole key musician. with the Sugar Shack Mondays is that it's not just random artists. It's, it's artists that, you know, because he's, he lives here, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that he's recommended oh, to that's people, nice. that's and that he nice. has said, hey, Tina, right. this is who I want yeah, here. Yeah. That's well, that's great. Nice. And yeah. what do you think that's of this great. place? It's like a... Oh, yeah, it, I've, been here, I've been here a couple times okay. before. I brought in, uh, I was over here, uh, one time I came over with uh, J.P. Soares, and the Red Hots. And, uh, who, who did a, a Sugar Shack Monday as well. All oh, right, yeah. great, yeah, yeah. And uh, um, and then uh, see, I have my own band in California, but then I work with bands out here. So JP went when on his own, and I was lucky enough to meet, meet when Doug came down. I said, That's great, you know, because it's it's hard to find guys that play this style, you know, right. this particular style. You know, there's great players, but you know, finding people that play this one particular style. So, right. so uh, anyhow. Um, yeah, and then another time I came over, we did a whole review. I came over with Sax Gordon and uh, 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 Matt Stubbs and, lo- and with J.P. Soares and band. We did a whole review here, and that, we had a ball. To the hardcore music enthusiasts out there, what kind, what year saxophone do you play? Uh, well, it's a 1968 Selmer Mark VI, which is a, a good horn. It's, when they were, it's, it's a, a good vintage when they had good metal. Tenor. Yeah. Tenor. Right. Tenor, yeah. Oh, uh, it's yeah. a, a beautiful old, old oh, machine yeah. for those of you who can't right. see it. But yeah. <laughs> and how long yeah. have you been playing that? Uh, that particular horn I've only had for about uh, less than 10 years. Okay. I have another one, a 67, that uh, I had for since since uh, mid-70s, about 74 I had that one. And, uh, and I kept looking for another horn. Then I found this one, and now the other one sits in the case, and this is my main horn. Now... Real quick on your background, West Palm Beach, for those of you yeah. not aware, we're Bradenton. West Palm Beach is about on the other side, not about. East Coast, it's on the yeah. East Coast. East Coast, Coast a little Coast. south, yeah. Uh, you grew up outside I grew up in suburbs Chicago. of Chicago, just north, Island Park. Um, I, uh, I saw B.B. King at the Regal Theater in about 1963, right at the end of 62, that, that's beginning of 63. That's that great album, Live at the Regal, came out, before that. It's oh, before okay. that. I didn't know who he was at the time. I wasn't even playing it. Some friends of mine that knew a little more than I did took me to see him, and uh, it was just amazing. And for those of you out there, if you're going to own two B.B. King like albums, that. Live at the Regal, Regal, Live at Cook County Jail, yeah, are yeah. probably his Blues two. is King, that's yeah. another one. So you but, saw him but, at the Regal. That's yes, great. Yeah, and I, I and it was so mind blowing seeing that kind of guitar. You know, people didn't play guitar like that back then with the sustained notes that long. You know, you just right. didn't hear that. And it was just. I remember we were up in the balcony and just chills going down. You know, my spine was just like every time you hit a note, it's just like, oh, what is that? <laughs> he, he, he could bend those guitars. And, and Ray Charles, sure. I saw around that same era. The same, oh, wow. Yeah, at the Regal Theater also. Ray Charles back then, you know, in 63 when he was really, on, you know. Bringing height, that whole jazz and R&B. Whole, everything together. together yeah. Gospel, jazz, you know, everything. Blues, country, all that. Yeah. All together. It was just amazing, you know. And uh, so that's pretty much, you know, started the seed. 
then I didn't pick up a horn till I was 21. Really, I went out to California. And I was going back and forth. And so you were singing and writing songs before you picked up the horn. No, or? no, I wasn't even into music. You know? Really? Yeah, I first went out to California. I just pretty much like for the ocean, you know, like diving and surfing. Where, southern, you know? northern? Yeah, southern first, yeah. Like L.A., Orange County? Orange County. Oh, okay, I used to live in Orange County. All right, yeah. yeah. Where at? Where were we at in Orange I County? lived all around between Huntington Beach, Laguna Beach, everywhere. Okay, I lived Florida. on Balboa. I lived on, the, I lived on the peninsula. Really? Yeah, yeah. We probably lived Couple in the same places. little shack. I lived down by the fun zone for a while, remember That's that? where I lived, oh, yeah. right by the fun one zone. Little, one of those little shacks, Yeah. Right? Little, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, it's probably the same shot because yeah. it was the cheapest one. I went to on like there. Orange Coast College for a second. Yeah. <laughs> it was the, in the Ferris wheel that was still yes, there? Yes, exactly. <laughs> but my son still lives down there. Oh, okay, you know? cool. Yeah, and his family, cool. yeah. Now, what made you pick up the saxophone? Uh, I was just, you know, I was uh, pretty much, I was li surfing, living in Balboa there, yeah. and eating and, Balboa bars, yeah, <laughs> eating popcorn or whatever I could afford, you know, <laughs> and. Uh, and listening to, they had a great 24-hour jazz station back then on AM, you know, uh -huh. and 24-hour uh, um, great jazz, everything, and then I just decided I needed something to, to do with my mind, you know, and so that got me into wanting to play the so sax. You, was I, like I didn't Coltrane start until, until later. Stuff like Every, that? Yeah, I listened to Coltrane, everything, you know, because that channel played everything from top, from Abba, from John Coltrane to Muddy Waters and oh, everything in between. Cool. And and okay. really good, really knowledgeable DJs and everything. It was really hip. Very and cool. so it was, uh, it was really an education for me listening to all that stuff, you know. How'd you hook up? I know you've worked on and off for about 30 years with Elvin Bishop. How'd you yeah, hook up with well, him? I moved up to Northern California with some guys from L.A. and we came up there in the end of 69 and we're just trying to get a band together, you know, just bumming around. Right. And uh, we started a little band and we got that going. Then, I, then Elvin came down one time, saw me, and he asked me and this harmonica player to join. The harmonica player said yes. I said no. Was, was this before or after he this did about Fillmore 70, East? This is about 72. Okay, so and right then, after he'd done Allman Brothers, live at Film Reese, where he performed with them, which later came out on the uh, reissue this CD. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I wasn't at that one. But uh, uh, I, uh, he asked me, I, finally the third time he asked me, I said, yeah. <laughs> and that was 1976. So that's right before And right after he had, no, it was right after. Right after, Because okay. I played on that CD. I was on, it struck my stuff CD, the one oh, that really? had fooled around. Oh, really? Fooled around, fell in love, you yeah, played I, on that? Yeah, oh, I came oh, down okay. to Miami, he flew me down to Miami, and I played on that. That was and a big I top still, 10 hit. I still didn't this. join you. And then, and then a little later, uh, I kept thinking I was going to get something going on. <laughs> and a little later, then I, he asked me again in 76, and I said, yep. <laughs> so I, I, from 77, uh, 77 is when I played with him, from 77 to 87. Oh, great. And I uh, had a ball, you know, really had a ball. But I, I've always, we've always stayed in touch ever since, and I've pretty much recorded on most all of his CDs since then, you know, just a little bit here, a little bit there. He and, just uh, headlined the Sarasota Blues Festival right, in November. Here. Right, yeah. But I, I did the, uh, the October uh, Legendary Rhythm and Blues Cruise out of the West Coast. Oh, okay, cool. And I, he put a review together, what's called the uh, Hell Raising Review, Elvin Bishop, and I was one of the featured artists oh, on that review. And that album will be coming out in May, and uh, I'll oh, okay. be—I have a song on there, you know, oh, that I sang super. on the review, so that'll be on there. And then that same label, I'm putting out a, a CD. On, I'm signing with Delta Groove, okay. and, and signing this week. And, um, oh, congratulations! And they're going to put out my CD. I've got it, so uh, that'll be coming out in July. Uh, real quick. Yeah. Plug your next gig. Where are you playing? All right. Next? Let's see. <laughs> Uh, oh, and where I don't can have much going on. I'm in. I'm kind of in at home in Florida for a while, and I'm not doing a whole lot till my next gig will be. What's uh, your website, Terry Hank? It's uh, TerryHank.net. That's and H A N C K. TerryHank.net. H A N C K. <coughs> I'll be at um, Chef John's over in Jupiter on the 25th of this month, and then uh, I have a few things coming up, and I've got my. California guitar player coming out in April for a, a week, the seventh, eighth, and ninth down there, and then, and then Doug uh, is coming over, and I'm doing some gigs with him in April. Over on oh, the other super. side, we'll be doing uh, um, the Orange Door in Lake Park, and then up to Lose Blues in uh, Indy Atlantic. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Well, for those who uh, haven't been able to check out the first hour and aren't familiar, what Terry does is very distinct. You don't see it much anymore, like we were talking yeah. about before. Yeah. Junior Walker did, Louis Jordan to a certain extent, yeah. but that integration of playing sax, singing, leading the band, you yeah. just don't see that that often, a singer, songwriter, saxophonist. Yeah. And 
uh, check it out. This broadcast is going to end now. But if you live close by, come, come on, on out here. Yes. And if you're just catching the interview part, the performance, you can check out. It's it's logged, saved. If, if you found us here, you'll find the, the first hour, and people can check that out. All Terry, right, thank you, Wayne. Digging it, man. Thank you. All right. All right. We'll see you back here next week for uh, Sugar Shack Mondays with uh, another special guest. All right. Victor Wainwright, right. that's our producer, Lacey All Camel, right, Damon All Fowler's right. girlfriend, Victor All Wainwright. Right. Thank you, Lacey. All right. Thanks, Lacey.